Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's trying to uh, trace this excavator, and it's pretty clean. It's a pretty good one, but he's having trouble with it, and so I thought I'd show. So always, and I've already done it, it came out pretty good. It needs a little bit of correction, but not really. I always control D and make a duplicate of my work in case something happens. So with this selected, take the crop tool, and crop out the excavator you want to trace. And by selecting it, nothing else on the page disappear. Now, if we go to bitmap and resample, it's already at over 300 because he made it really little. So we're just, we're not going to do anything but go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And it's going to do it really quick. It's already done. Hit OK. Move it down. And... There are several ways to do this. The biggest problem is this line is part of the excavator. So you need to go up to object, group, and ungroup. And then we're going to left click, right click, and see where this line is part of the excavator. So let's just take a two point line and go from that node to that node. Take our virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Now this is not connected to the other ones, so we need to connect them. And there's a lot of nodes, so I'm gonna hold down the shift key, I'm gonna select that, and you see it selected both sides. And then just go like right in here, select those two nodes, go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. I've got mine set pretty low, but it's gonna join them. So now that's all one piece. And it doesn't really matter. You could, you know, you could use the shape tool or the, you could, you know, uh, clean this up a little bit and see that there's actually a double line there. And that's going to cause you problems in the future. As you can see, there's a double line there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and since we, now that we've got it on a group, we can, get rid of this, whoever did this. And you can go there now and kind of clean it up. Not really necessary. And since there's a double line, what I'm going to suggest to do is take the Smart Fill tool and pick a point and fill it in and then nudge it over. And now you're only going to have one line. The only problem with that, you don't know what it needs, but I know what it needs. So we're going to hit that with black. We're going to hit these tracks with black. And we're going to hit the center of that with black. And we could probably hit that with black and move it over. And I think we've got everything else is perfect. Now, because we smart filled it, it's not going to have double lines. So we're going to left click, right click. And it's just going to be a single line. We'll just go ahead and test it. And if you see, if we move it, there's not another line behind there. And then this is what I was going to just clean this up. Like this needs to be a straight line. So I would just delete a bunch of these nodes. Um, you know, make it look whoop, straighter. You know, clean up, take away some of the nodes and make it look better. Now, the only other part, you just have to go around. Uh, like this is a little jagged. You could take the shape tool and start deleting nodes. Or if you have the smoothing tool in X7 or above, you can get the smoothing tool. And evidently we're too big, so let's make it 0.25. That might even be too big. But then once you're selected on it, just go around and smooth it up. By being too big, you could actually mess up a line on the other side. It just all depends if he's going to cut it out or engrave it. And um, let's look at this bottom real quick where our problem was. Just make sure whenever you use it, you've got to so select it and you'll see a bounding box come up. And that doesn't look half bad. On some of this stuff, you could actually redraw it. Uh, like this one here looks pretty good. So we can go up to object and break the curve apart. We can select that one and use it and not use these. 
because they, it looks a little better. So we could, could hit the plus sign on your keyboard, holding down the control button and move it up. Click it again, hit the uh, plus sign on your keyboard, move it down. They don't have to be perfect, but they could be perfect if you want to use the align and distribute tool. And then just go through here with your smoothing tool and smooth some of this stuff out. That could probably be a square window, but it all depends on, you know, how big this is and how much work you want to put into it. Like I guarantee that this is probably a triangular window type deal. So I would use the shape tool and maybe delete those lines. And what you can also do, let's do this. Let's select both those nodes, right click and turn it into a line. And then, well, this is part of that. So put a node right there first. And then that should stop that from happening. And you've got a more of a window. You can actually right click and turn that into a line. And just simple things like that that make it look a lot better. A lot of this stuff might be easier to redraw than to clean it up, but it's, it all depends on what you're doing. And then just, it should all fill in now. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I think we're going to make the whole thing black. Nope, it worked. Well, our windows are black, so that won't work. You're gonna to have to smart fill it. And just, it's easy, just take the smart fill tool and nudge it over and just kind of remember what you did. You know, your tracks, and the tracks could be cleaned up for sure. And then just take that and nudge it over. And that's probably the easiest way because you can see what you just did. And there you have a pretty clean excavator that you could make this thing is real little you could make it any size and it would engrave good i just noticed there's a i didn't have it that's what happened i didn't group it together let's control g and group it together and now we can make it any size we want pretty cool graphic pretty good clip art see here's one of the things you could you know, clean up like right there. I like working with it when it's in a, a line form than this, but it'll work. You just have to make sure you click on it. And also you can raise this if it's going too slow. You can raise your bar and it'll smooth it up faster. Sometimes slower is better when you're working with this type stuff. This type stuff would probably be better with the shape tool then you could actually deliver, uh, get rid of nodes. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.